Alright, welcome back to the world of the Gaia. Have a brand new microphone, so the sound quality should be a lot better. We're here in Cravia because we're going to be doing some guild quests. Pretty easy to remember six of them. And these guild quests are a fairly easy way to make some quick gold. Um, they can help you when you're trying to grind and build up your levels and stuff. No, thank you. Your goods are crap. He does have some combinable materials for the lower tier weapons and armor, but that's it. <coughs> yeah, this video is going to be a little bit shorter. It's a little over half an hour. And that's because I'm only doing two quests. And I don't know why I left there. That was kind of stupid. You don't have to leave in between quests. want to actually come talk to him before we go because he gives you valuable information on where to find them. And actually we might have done three quests. Yeah, because there's this one And then there was one more kind of gathering quest. Yeah, 
that the lips are scattered throughout the forest. Roughly in the same places where you would normally find other monsters. Um, anytime where you would usually have a random encounter, you'll find a lips there instead. Wait, we're done? Or, actually, you'll see one running around, but it's actually two of them. Oh, sorry. And there's one that you encounter in the forest. I know roughly where it's at. And I think it always shows up in the same place. That's uh, more, of, more kind of a pink or purple color. And it's a lot stronger than the others. And that one drops the lipster that you're looking for. Yeah, the lips go down pretty easy. And we gain like two or three lips tears out of it. There's one of these, I don't remember which one. They... I actually have Maya guard and give Ayn the chance to attack. But of course the lips runs away before 
If you catch the lips on the field head on, they'll be facing you in battle. But if you catch them from the side or behind, they'll be facing away from you in battle. And it's this one where I had her guard. I knew it was one of them. See, it ran away before I could attack because he's too slow. Got to raise his agility. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's the next one that we encounter has the one we want. I think this one was it. Yep. I could tell right away because the one didn't have a HP gauge. See what I mean about them being a lot tougher? Even after my end, Lang both had to go at him, he's still standing. That's like four or five lips' tears, and we did get the lipster. Um, that blood sucker means that every time Maya deals damage, she'll regain health as long as she needs to. 
if she's already at max health, she obviously won't gain anything, but... And see, I don't know why we don't run into these things while the lips are around. It's only after we clear them out. See, she regained the 58, 53 HP that she lost to the lips earlier. Not at our level. Yeah, it didn't actually mean to go to Tanza. That wasn't where I wanted to be. I needed to go to Cravia. Yeah, we got one more quest, and this one's a bit longer. Let's see, that one wasn't available until after we got done with this one. Sorry about all the coughing. <laughs> I know you can still hear it, even though I'm trying to cover it as best I can. But... I suffer from asthma, and some days are worse than others.
And so off to Tenzo. Not a problem for us. We have the magic potion. I see there's an error right there. It says magic powder can be made from magic potion. Where previously he said that magic potion could be made from magic powder. Which we actually have both of. And since we have the magic potion, we don't actually need the magic powder. Yeah, I probably should have come into the forest maze from the north. I think it would have been closer to where I wanted to be. But, oh well. Didn't even get ten steps in. <laughs> Taunting them. He does that like two or three times. Kind of weird. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah, Lang's art blocks went up to 11. But if I remember right, I don't ever change his arts to take advantage of it. Which seems kind of stupid, but I mean you get accustomed to doing things a certain way excuse me you get accustomed to doing things a certain way you don't think about changing it and I've been using the same set art moves for so long that I have to actually forcefully remind myself that I need to change it <clears throat> Yeah, definitely not up there. I know what's up there. Look behind you. Here we go! 
Yeah, this was the right way. See, with her power, I don't have to worry about it. The golden apple's always in season. And you have to have Ein in order for the apple to drop. You can use, uh... You can use his power to pound the ground. But the apple won't drop. Take you on. I figured since I'm here, I might as well take on the golden beetle too. Which is fairly powerful and gives quite a bit of experience in gold. Yeah, I'm not sure what element the Golden Beetle is, but I'm thinking it's Earth. Wait, we're done? Yeah, that was kind of my reaction. I was like, huh? That's it? I remember it being a longer, more protracted battle. It was, it was funny for it to be over so soon. Yeah, just make a straight line south. Get out of here. And then from here, it's back to Tanza. Get the Golden Grona from Rondo. And then back to Joe at uh, Derrickin. Yeah, just get rid of these guys the easy way. Come on, let's keep going. Yep, we got no time to lose. Yeah. Blazing Smash is my new, uh, my new magical attack. Can't wait to try that. Kinda of surprised we were able to exit the forest without getting molested again. I could go for the 100,000, but I'm not entirely sure if he would pay it.
And I was hoping he would have something else to say, like he did earlier. I'm going to turn this quest in, get my money, go save my game, and call it a day. Alright, see you all next week with another video.